Happy March, Jim and I. Welcome to your March 2017 General Tarot reading with Island Girl Tarot. I hope everybody is surviving the eclipses. I personally have been a, an emotional mess, just crying over nothing. And I do mean N-O-T-H-I-N-G, nothing. So I don't know. Um, and let me see. If you all uh, are interested in a private reading, it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. You guys, I'm really reasonable. I am a uh, dollar and a half a minute with a 15-minute minimum, so that's $22.50. So, um, and we can do it email, chat, FaceTime, Skype, whatever. Just let me know. I'll be happy to work with you. With that said, Gemini, I'm going to get right to it. If for some reason this does not resonate with you, check out your rising and your moon signs. If it does, leave me feedback, please. Gemini's, 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 Gemini's. <clears throat> Let me look at this right quick, Gemini, with the Seven of Pentacles being the um, bottom of the deck that's kind of the overall energy. Um, hang on. We have the center... Just it, my first boom, when I first saw this, I mean, just taking it all in at first glance, my gut is, there's an argument within a marriage, there's an argument within a marriage about money. And it's not going to end well because this is something, this is the Eight of Pentacles. And for me, it's an again and again and again card. Um, this is something that's been happening. We've had some major issues with this Knight of Swords next to the Lovers. That, you know, the Knights are, or the uh, Knights, of course, are actions. And Swords are your thoughts, uh, beliefs. Um, arguments, legalities, that kind of thing. I think I think there's trouble in paradise, especially when you throw in the tower here, Gemini. Um, so just be careful. This looks like an argument over money that has happened before. This is something, it looks to me like you guys got married, celebrated, had a great time. You know, maybe you spent too much money on the wedding. Maybe there's not enough money being made in the household. Um, but there's definitely something going on because I've got, I'm sorry, I had the three of, of cups there uh, with the four of wands. And that's definitely would be a marriage, you know, with the lovers. I mean, these three cards indicate marriage, you know. And so, um, but there's definitely, I just, it looks like somebody, and it may be the Queen of Pentacles here, who is going to be an Earth sign Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, it looks like the Earth sign may have done something, Gemini. Um, and of course, this is going to represent you, the Knight here. May have done something unexpected monetarily. And it's not the first time that it's happened. And so you're ready to lay the law down. And the reason that I say that is we end with the Eight of Cups. In the Two of Swords, and it looks to me like Gemini, you're looking at walking away uh, from the marriage. You're, you're, you know, you're checking things out now. Again, the overall energy in the bottom of the deck was the Seven of, of Pentacles, which, of course, we know was your represents your savings and reap what you sow. And you know, as I say, she's looking at that. She's in peasant clothes, and she's about to take it you know, take money out of the bank that she's probably got no other way to put it, replace it with. <clears throat> so Jim and I, I just really feel like there is a homebound, a, a situation with, with, with a female. I mean, and, and like I said, gender not specific, you know how this goes. This is a general reading, so apply it to you and whatever your, your, uh, relationship status is. Um, because if it's not, 
Um, although, it, again, if it well, maybe if it's not with a married partner, then it could be with a child or something. That, you know, a, a millennial uh, could be having an issue that you're having to deal with again and again and again. What I want to see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shuffle here. I just want to get some clarification on, you know, because it does look like you're thinking about walking away, uh, Gemini, and you're looking at your savings to do it. Um, what should the Gemini, and of course it's going to be, you know, specific to each one, but I'm just going to pull of, you know, yeah, see, isn't that interesting? Uh, and the card that comes back out again is 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 a three of pentacles, which can mean a couple of different things. Uh, it can mean mastery. It can mean a third person in a relationship. I think you, the decision that you're making is to walk away or you're going to have to really figure out if you can decide to get your counterpart that's whatever this issue is under control. And if it's a child, this could be something to do with school and university and that kind of thing. And it may be suddenly something happened. <coughs> it may be a grant didn't come through. And now, again, you guys have found out you're going to have to pay for something that you had not, you know, planned on. Or maybe, you know, the tuition was covered, but the books and stuff were supposed to be covered by something. Anyways, there's... There's something that it, a decision is going to be made on whether to walk away, you know, from the current situation and do just do something completely different or to stay. And if you stay, the Three of Pentacles says you will master the situation. I really feel like if you stay and work with the person, they you will get them over to your side and to your way of thinking. It may be that person just doesn't understand how much money there is. Um, you know, it may be one of those situations where if you just simply sat down with them and showed them your accounts and so forth so they understood the money situation. Um, but you all have got a lot to talk about. And there's going to be, I'm afraid there's going to be some arguments, okay? So just trying, everybody, keep your, you know, keep your emotions in check. I know it's it's difficult. Um, but good luck, Jim and I. I, you know, I'm sorry it's not a better reading. It's not that it's bad. You guys look okay financially. It's just somebody's doing something repeatedly that you've asked them not to do. And you're going to have to put your foot down is the bottom line. So just apply that however that is. And if and again, if it may not be monetarily, it could just be within your relationships. General readings, I mean, I'm reading, you know, this it's got several different messages. If it applies to you and you want me to uh, look at it for you personally, then, you know, that's when a general reading comes in. And I can give you a lot of information in 15 minutes, you know. So um, just if you want further investigation on this, by all means, just islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. And I will be live on my Facebook page, um, Island Girl Tarot, uh, Saturdays at 1030. And I draw a card for everybody in the chat room. And if it's real slow, I'll draw more than one. So make sure you hop over and join me. And the other thing I definitely want to say is welcome to YouTube, Deborah Co Crew King. Um, Deborah Crew King is a life coach, and she is fantastic. If you have any of those nagging issues, those repetitive um, life challenges that seem to come up again and again, by all means, I encourage you to uh, check Deborah C Crew King out and uh, let her help you through with her um, uh, life coaching abilities. She's a fantastic human being. Take care, everybody. I hope you have a great March, Jim, and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'll be doing a love readings this month and financials. Bye-bye.